welcome back to another Gate Ruler video. Let's just get right into it because we've got some very cool stuff. So today uh, we got the, I, I would assume, bulk of the Exavader support for the new set. And it's really cool. It's, um, it's basically uh, Elder Gods, Lovecraftian, Cthulhu, literally Cthulhu. Um, and also like a whole kind of kaiju vibe as well. It's very cool. So here we've got the first card now I'm starting with the support pieces because I think that it, uh, That will help contextualize the big boys uh, a little bit better. So here we have our level zero field um, This is Exvader next invasion. So the trait here is emissary of ruin uh, And it's a counter the counter is put this to the field zone. So it has three effects at one, at the beginning of your turn, put the top card of your deck into this card's charges face down. The second effect is at the end of your turn, if this card has charges, you take one damage. So, <laughs> not ideal. And the third effect is this card's charges may be moved to other locations only by abilities and effects of your Emissary of Ruin. Uh, so, it's essentially, um, you've, uh, you've got to have... You've got to be using this Emissary of Ruin uh, cards to do anything with these charges. So it's sort of locking it within the with the archetype. Okay, fine, cool. So I've got my consi relatively consistent way of generating charges. Now, why the hell do I want to do that? Well, uh, first let's have a look at the other card here, um, the other support card. So this is Evil God Invasion. This is another Emissary of Ruin and it has firepower. This is a level two event. Uh, to counter as well. The counter is put four cards from charges of cards on your field to the bottom of your deck. If you do, choose one Emissary of Ruin from your graveyard and special summon it. So again, um, that those big boys are Emissary of Ruin, so you'd be able to special summon one of those. They're both level three, so that's pretty good. Um, it also has the main effect, which is uh, normal use timing, and it says the next time you normal summon Emissary of Ruin during this turn, its energy cost is reduced by three, so you essentially get to play it for one cost cheaper as a two card combo, which is nice. Um, a little bit eh, but uh, this is sort of a nice option to have. I have no idea how good this is going to be until we actually try this out. So you've got the background there. Um, that is the support pieces, but now let's talk about the big dogs. This is why you are playing this. So here we've got uh, Cthulhu of the Eldritch, 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 Eldritch Gods. I can, I, can, I can do words. Cthulhu. This is an emissary of ruin, of course, and water. So uh, the, new, the new keyword here is immobility. This card cannot attack. Normal timing. Put one of your card's charges to the bottom of your deck. For this turn, this card loses immobility. Now, this is not a once per turn effect, so you can use this if you have lots of field spells to so just ditch all the charges so you don't start taking a bunch of damage. When it attacks, destroy all level zero or less enemy units. Now, I haven't talked about the elephant in the room here, and that's Jesus fuck, what are those stats? Eight, eight, four? I. <laughs> ridiculous plus it like a board wipes level zero or less level zero or less is very interesting to me because it implies that x vader may be getting some kind of way to just reduce um all levels on your opponent's field maybe not this set maybe set three or future that's pure speculation i genuinely don't know no influencer um knowledge here i genuinely don't know um but very interesting and just so just really really cool like you know even if you can't get rid of the immobility fundamentally this is an 884 which your opponent is faced with this awful uh conundrum where if they choose to remove it and the next turn it turns out you didn't have a way to make charges if you didn't already have some on the field they're going to feel like an idiot because they just wasted you know a lot of resources in clearing this guy um, or you can chuck this in the center and use it defensively. Now, the risk you're running there is there is a lot of center popping running around, relatively speaking, so that is a risk you will have to manage. Now, this is uh, one of the two big boys. Here is the other big boy, and this is Haster of Eld 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 Eldlich Gods. <laughs> this is Wind and Emissary of Ruin. So again, it has a thing. Now, when it enters the field, choose one x Vader next invasion, that's the level zero event, from your deck and put it into the field zone. So this will instantly search for your way to generate charges. Now note that 
Um, emissary, uh, the uh, uh, Exvader next invasion does not start getting charges until your next turn. So um, you will not immediately start taking damage or whatever. But th so this is a setup card, kind of, but also like, you know. Anyway, um, the second effect is normal timing. Put one of your cards charges to the bottom of your deck. For this turn, this card gets plus one strike. So you can imagine a scenario when you've got two or three of those sets up and you get this, you slam it down, ditch all the charges, suddenly it's got three strike. Or if you're a risky player, you have like three of them out, you choose not to do anything with the charges for a turn, you take your three damage L, survive the next turn, slap this down with six strike. It'd be pretty scary. <laughs> um, probably not the best play, but cool. Now, a really cool interaction here is with Vamha. So that's the set one card, which takes one of your opponent's units and chucks it into its charge. And what you can do there is you will bot deck that with one of these Elder Gods and you will unlock their ability. So that's very cool. There's also synergy here. It's any card's charges. So whilst obviously it's designed, there is this self-contained element, by no means are you forced to go down this path. There are plenty of cards that get their own charges um, you can imagine perhaps running this with Crime Noughts uh, in this black-pink list. I don't like K-pop. Um, where you abuse your Malevolous Prime, instantly getting two souls to start, you know, being able to use your, your Eldritch Gods. I'm not saying that's the best thing or that's necessarily even good. I'm just saying that's a thing you can do. But I, I think uh, how good will this archetype be? I honestly have no idea. I'm inclined to say probably not that good, but I'm very happy to just be completely incorrect. I'm really excited to play with these guys, like, just fundamentally big boy fuck off demon Lovecraftian kaiju is a really fun deck idea, and I'm sure it will be super, super cool. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in picking up Gate Ruler, uh, please check with your local game store, or you can use my affiliate link in the description to order product. I'll make a tiny bit of money if you do, but obviously you do not have to do that. It's just a nice way to support the channel and get yourself some Gate Ruler products. But that's it. Uh, I'll uh, see you guys in tomorrow's video where we've got Gundam <laughs> and some Abyss Summon support coming. Both four stars. See you then. Cheers.